Laura, thank you very much indeed. They are one of the world's biggest bands with more than 120 million records sold globally. Fleetwood Mac recently celebrated five decades of enduring success with so many massive hits to their name. Well, tomorrow night, the legendary drummer Mick Fleetwood is putting on a special concert celebrating the man who helped start it all, band co-founder Peter Green. And Mick is with us this morning. Morning, Mick. Yeah. Morning, morning. First, though, here's Divya Coley. Fleetwood Mac, one of the biggest bands of the 70s and 80s, producing massive hits from Grammy Award-winning albums such as Rumours, which sold more than 45 million copies. But their incredible road to success began in the 60s when the band was formed by Mick Fleetwood, Peter Green, John McVeigh and Jeremy Spencer, writing many of the early classics such as Albatross and Oh Well. Their five-decade history has been full of controversy and turbulent times. But Fleetwood Mac has sold over 120 million records worldwide, making them one of the world's best-selling bands. In a one-off special show, Mick Fleetwood will pay tribute to co-founder Peter Green, who he calls his greatest mentor, to celebrate the early days where it all began. And Mick joins us now. Mr Fleetwood, great pleasure morning, to see morning. you once, once again. Too. I mean, the Fleetwood Mac, with the pictures we just saw, with the, the massive success, we're in this, one of the later incarnations of a band which changed many, many times, actually. But, but the purest incarnation, one might argue, was <laughs> with you and Peter Green. Tell us a bit about Peter. Well, uh, th that would be, you know, 1967, when uh, Peter and John and myself and Jeremy then... Shortly after that, Danny Kerwin formed uh, Fleetwood Mac, and Peter was most definitely the guy that was behind the whole concept of doing it and asked me to be there to play drums. And it, it was really a, uh, a coming together of, of musicians that were completely involved in loving blues. Uh, Peter came out of John Mayles' Blues Breakers, uh, Jeremy was a huge advocate of Elmore James, John and myself likewise. So it was a perfect chemistry mm. that came together. It was just a bunch of lads really convening to do that. We had no idea that even in, in those years, uh, we almost immediately had really good uh, reaction to the band and success with, with Peter at the helm. Mm. Mm. How's Peter doing? Because tomorrow night's gig is, is a tribute to him. Well, it's not a tribute. Oh. I was, I was thinking... A celebration. I, a celebration. Celebration of him. Yes. A tribute is, is something a little just not right for me, but uh, it is. It's about, about his work and, mm. and acknowledging that a lot of people, for, you know, understandably, the band went on for way over 50-odd you know, years now since, since Peter left, and me and John, the name Fleetwood Mac, mm. people understandably think that, you know, maybe we formed the band and it just seemed a really timely thing emotionally for me at this point in, in my career and life to, to really advocate and, and celebrate the music that we played with Peter at the helm. Because he, he, he moved, went his own way, um, he had issues with drugs, particularly the LSD and, and, and mental health issues as well, didn't he? Which are, that plagued him for years. Well, that, that, that is, uh, is true, uh, and Peter's spoken to that, mm. but this is so not about that. This is about celebrating his music, mm. and that's where I sort of put a shield around what we're doing. Mm. And, uh, and it's really... A, uh, Peter was a, a, is and was a dear, dear friend, mm and changes in life did take place for him. But his music is, is so unbelievably uh, uh, connected, yeah. uh, which is demonstrated in, in the amount of incredible artists that have connected and come out to, to do this show So tomorrow. who's taking part? Well, I, I'll try and remember everyone <laughs> <laughs> on the show, but en anyone and everyone has a very profound story about why they're there. Mm -hmm. and it's all about Peter's music or the early years of Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Peter Townsend is there. Wow. David Gilmore, 
Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, Billy Gibbons, Zach Starkey, Ringo's lovely son you, who's playing you mentioned drums, the, the... Christine McVie will be there, and I'm probably omitting three or four other incredible well, such great players. Cast list. You mentioned the great music he's written, uh, and I remember from when I was a kid, you know, things like Albatross and Noel, but he wrote, for me, one of the finest pop songs ever, which was Man of the World. Well, Man of the World is actually someone that I've just forgotten to, to say is, is going to be sung by Neil Finn, oh. who's presently, of course, in Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, yeah. Because it's such a poignant song about a man, young man who has everything but is still just It's heartbreaking. Lost. Oh, yeah. It's heartbreaking, and we had, as band members, had no idea the, uh, to properly empathise with what Peter was actually going through. We, we simply weren't equipped to realise the subtleties of someone that is, in essence, crying out, mm. which is a lesson learnt. Mm. And it's a song that, I mean, is close to your heart, oh, it's in my top ten. That's always. I in love, fact, I you did it. promise in the dressing room I'm this morning that you would, morning you would by sing even it. Sing it. I might just... have to blow the whistle <laughs> on you. <laughs> yes, you are wearing a whistle but round you, your neck. What is the whistle for, me? Well, I, I used to wear a whistle on stage. I, I, I don't quite know why. It was a, poli a police whistle. OK. And uh, I don't anymore. And then I suddenly... Th no, this is actually not the one. But I thought, what we're doing was that proposal. I've been holding on... To sound guy's probably going crazy, right? Um, you, yes, as it clashes against yeah. the microphone. Palladium's uh, sold out tomorrow night, but people will have an opportunity to, to see it at yes, later Yes, the, there's a, uh, a show that's going into, like, dozens, uh, hundreds of cinemas all over the world, and then... Uh, there'll be a, a beautifully presented documentary, which is what we've been doing. Everything has been documented from the dream of doing this, mm. for me, selfishly, uh, back in Hawaii. And uh, we've been able to really pull off putting these things together. Uh, are not easy, because people come and go, and then the date changes, mm. and the, the venue is, can't be booked. So we are absolutely... Uh, beside ourselves with uh, joy. And mostly we've got this most, happening tomorrow. Mostly yeah. blues, but we'd be playing some more modern Fleetwood Mac songs. No, as well? th this, is, this is strictly the work from 1967 uh, through till when Peter left okay. the band. Brilliant. There'll be no Rhiannons, no dreams. <laughs> No or, audience no requests. No career own ways. <laughs> uh, and, that, and that's truly what this is about, is mm. to celebrate uh, that music. Mm. And his unique skill. Yeah, play? well, it, it's very evident the, the way uh, uh, Noel Gallagher, for instance, you, you would go, well, what, what's the connection there? Yeah. Well, Noel, I'm, he happens to know a friend of mine, that's, that's how we got mm. in touch to, to do the show. He said, Brilliant. no, 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 I want to I be there and sing a song. So he's singing he's some really, well. really cool... Mick, uh, great. We're out of time. Oh, we are. Great pleasure to see you and good luck with the gig tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks so much. Great to see you. You're lucky. <laughs> We're both back tomorrow. Indeed. Now it's time for Lorraine. Oh, thank you both very much indeed. And after the break.